What's up everyone? Welcome to Friday's 11.35 a.m. Full Body Blast class. Today, we're going to have our three movements that we're going to use for our pillar and movement prep. And then we are going to take a nice approach with today's workout. We're going to be doing two different AMRAPs. Uh, they're both going to be give or take about seven minutes. Just kind of depends on how long it takes us to get through our warm up and that little bit of break. The first AMRAP is going to be strictly strength based. So a lot of strength movements, lower and upper body. And then we're going to finish out with that last seven minute AMRAP uh, for our conditioning or ESD portion as we do more high volume, um, high intensity movements to round out today's session. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up today. So first thing we're gonna do, uh, we are gonna be going into a reverse lunge complex. So we're gonna go into a reverse lunge, Samson stretch, and then add a rotation. So just make sure you're paying attention, follow along step by step here, all right? So we're gonna take this right leg back, we're gonna step back, hold it for a moment, drop it to the ground, then we're just going to push our hips forward, hands are going to interlock, reach up to the sky, up and back while pushing the hips forward, hold it for a moment, relax, right hand goes on the outside of that left knee, and then rotate, eyes staying fixed on the hand as we rotate back, then step up. And we're going to stay on the same side just because I got this wall here, so we're going to step back again with that right leg, pause for a moment, drop down to the ground. Hips go forward, hands go up and back. Nice long stretch here, open up that body and relax and then rotate. Hold that rotation just for a couple moments and then come up and we got one more here. Step back with that right leg, pause, drop down to the ground, hips go forward, arms reach up and back here. Nice and easy and relax, rotate, and return. So I'm just going to switch sides now. So now we're going to be stepping back with that left leg. So that left leg is going to go back, drop it down to the ground, hips go forward, hands interlock, reach up and back, hold it for a couple moments. If you feel that stretch through your quads, hip flexes a little bit through the abs, and relax. Now we're going to rotate with that right arm as we open up and come back up. Number two, step back, drop the knee, hips go forward, arms reach up and back, big stretch, and relax, rotate, come back up. Last one here, left leg goes back, drop that knee to the ground, Hips go forward, hands go up and back, open up that body, and relax, then hit that last rotation here, and return. All right, last part of our warm-up, we're going to go into that pillar bridge position. So hands are underneath our shoulders, our feet are going to go wide, and we're going to go into alternating shoulder taps, into down dog for three cycles, starting with our left hand. So we're gonna go tap, tap, push up, hold it for a moment, and return. Tap, tap, push up, hold it for a moment, and return. Then one last one here. Tap, tap, push those hands to the ground, and relax. All right. So, like I said, we're going to have two different AMRAPs today. They're both going to be about seven minutes long. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the first one is going to be strength-based. So, real simple. Uh, first movement is just going to be our regular reverse lunges. We're going to go five on each side. So, they're going to be alternating. So, make sure as we step back, we step straight back. We anchor that foot into the ground and drop the knee right underneath the hip and come back up and return. And then just go to the opposite leg. Make sure that torso stays tall and tight. Drop that knee under and come back up. All right. So we're going to go five each side. 
10 total on that. Next, for our upper body strength, we've done these before a couple times. We're going to be going push up into shoulder taps, five cycles total. So hands underneath our shoulders, your feet can be together or wide. You're just going to control yourself down, push away, tap, tap, control yourself down, push away, tap, tap. Big thing on that push up, make sure our hips and our chest stay even together. Think of it as a dynamic plank as you move up and down, staying tight in the core, keeping that chest and hips connected, moving together. After that, we're going to be going into glute bridge marching. So we're going to lay down on our backs, make sure we have plenty of room. Toes are going to be up. We're going to drive up into a glute bridge. And then you're going to walk your feet out. All right, two steps on each side. So one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, for five reps total there. All right. So we got seven minutes continuous. We got reverse lunge, alternating reverse lunge, five each side. We got push up with the shoulder tap, five cycles total, and then glute bridge marching for five reps, two steps out each leg, two steps in each leg. Make sure we keep those hips up, core tight. All right. So go ahead and get in your position, and we're going to get started in 10 seconds here. Reverse lunge. Three, two, one, go. We got five each side. And then we got the push up to the shoulder taps for five cycles. Glute bridge marching. Five reps. Two steps out each leg. Two steps in. Good. Focus on those movements, and those cues. Know the volume is going to build as we go. First couple rounds, take it a little bit slower to get acclimated, and then you can increase the speed from there. Again, on those push-ups, make sure the chest and hips are moving together. Make sure you're fighting that rotation when you go for the shoulder taps. Anything is five reps or five cycles. So five cycles on the push-up with the shoulder tap. And on glute bridge walkout, five reps each, two steps out, two steps in per leg. Good. Catch your breath in between each movement. Transition as fast or slow as you need to. Remember, anytime we do the AM wrap, the main rounds as possible, it's working at the pace that works best for you. Nice, easy movement here. Make it crisp and clean. Stay strong and sturdy. We're at four and a half left, two and a half minutes into it. <clears throat> Big focus on everything. Make sure you establish that balance and then keep tension throughout every rep of every movement. We have four minutes left on this first one. Four minutes.
on these glute bridges. Make sure as you walk your feet out and in, just make sure you keep tension in those hips. Keep it up. Keep them tipping up to the ceiling. Back to the top. Three minutes left. Keep working. Right, keep up the work. Keep up the effort. Good. Two and a half minutes left. Two and a half minutes left. Again, stay strong and sturdy. Focus on your balance. Focus on your tension. Great movement. Solid effort today. Keep it up. Right under two minutes. Right under two minutes. If you're looking to increase the speed, get a lecture volume in, increase the intensity, now would be the time. Kind of that finishing time here. A little less than two minutes left. Uh, keep it up. Right over a minute. Hitting that home stretch here before we get our first break in. Hitting that home stretch. Good, 40 seconds left, keep it up. Thirty seconds. Try to get through one or two more rounds of an exercise. Good, keep it up, we got 10 seconds, 5, 3, 2, 1, done, and relax, alright, awesome job everyone, we're going to take about a minute and a half, 2 minute break, I need a little bit more time today to catch my breath before I start speaking again, so, again, this next round here is going to be more of our ESD, so energy system development and cardio phase. We'll give you all about 30 more seconds here. Get some water, kind of let that heart rate come down. And then we will go into demonstration of this last portion. Let me catch my breath a little bit more. <clears throat> and then we'll get after it to finish out full body blast today. All right, so our first movement, or sorry, let me start back over. So our rep range, we're going to go 30, 20, 10, all right? So our first movement, as you all probably know, one of my favorite ones is seal jack. 
All right, we're going to be doing 30 seal jacks. You just got to keep your hands close. We'll pivot through the elbows here. You don't have to worry about taking the arms out wide. All right, so we're just going to be going out in together here. 30 reps. All right, be light on your feet and be fast. After that, we're going to go down to the ground. We're going to have 20 mountain climbers. So 10 each side. So you're going to hold that pillow bridge position. Knee's going to go to the elbow. Drive the knee to the elbow fast and quick. Light on your feet. 20 reps total, 10 each side. Then we're going to go into the last part. We're going to take that wide stance, all right, that stagnant stance for some lateral lunges. You're going to go 10 total, 5 each side, lateral lunge with a press out, all right? So if you have some weights around you, this is the moment where you can use that for the press out. You can even use it for your lateral lunges if you want, <clears throat> but you're going to alternate side to side. Hips go back, chest come forward, press out. And in is one, go to the other side, press out and in is two, all the way up to ten. Alright? So I'm gonna get one more drink of water here. And then we are going to get started again. 30 seal jacks, 20 mountain climbers, 10 lateral lunges with a press out. Starting in 10 seconds. 10 seconds here. A lot more volume in this one. Three, two, one, go. The 30 steel jacks. Good. Out and in together. Be light on your feet. Find a good rhythm and tempo. Right into 20 mountain climbers. 10 each side here. Make sure those hands stay underneath those shoulders. You're still holding a little bit of that shell position with that core. Keeping your abs engaged as you go. Once you're done with that, you're up into the lateral lunges with the press. 10 total. Five each side, starting with that wide stance. Hips go back, chest comes forward. On these lateral lunges, big reach out, bring it back in, push to recover. Once you're done, you're right back up to the top, 30 seal jacks. Good. Light on your feet, in and out together. Same thing on the mountain climber. Make sure you have that core stability. All right, we're driving our knees to the elbows fast. Light on your feet. Think about trying to keep those toes off the ground. They're only there as long as they need to before you hit that switch transition. Uh, four and a half minutes left. Find a good base position on these lateral lunges with the press. Make sure you hit the lateral lunge, then the press. Chest goes back, or sorry, hips go back, chest comes forward, press out. We're going to ride in four minutes, just about halfway here. Keep cycling through it through 30, 20, 10.
Good. Keep it up. Light on your feet. Get that volume accumulating. The only thing that's really going to kind of be slow, quote unquote, slower with this part of it, so those lateral lunges. Just make sure we're focusing on our movement, our stability, the intent of everything. Uh, keep it up. Two and a half minutes to go. Two and a half minutes. We're almost on that home stretch. Good. Keep it up. Two minutes. Right at two minutes left. Thirty seal jacks. Twenty mountain climbers. Ten lateral lunges with the press. Keep it up. We got a little over a minute left. A little over a minute. Finish it strong. Still focus on that movement though. Quality, then quantity. So right under a minute. 50 seconds left here. 50 seconds left. Go to 15 seconds. Keep it up. See what you can get through in these last few moments. Three, two, one, done. And done. Go ahead and relax. Grab me a drink of water. We are right at that 25 minute mark, about one minute before. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. That way we have enough time to do a little bit of water recovery before we jump into abs class today. Whew, let me catch my breath. So everyone, thank you so much for showing up throughout the week. We greatly appreciate your continued hard work and attendance. And then everyone have a great rest of your Friday.